So 99.9% .9 of what we do is because we can go on autopilot, is because we, can, we, ha we have the ability to do things unconsciously. So, so being on autopilot is a great thing, but for most people it has become their kill seal heel also. Because if, you, if there's nothing you notice, so everything is on autopilot, then the extreme of that is you go through the day and when you go to bed you, you kind of say, oh I haven't noticed anything, I didn't experience anything. And that's actually a true story about a lot, how a lot of people feel about it. They say, oh it's Monday again, I can't believe it's Monday again. That's because they have overused this great ability. So it has become the Achilles heel. They haven't experienced a lot during that week and they come to New Year's Eve and they say, oh, it's already 2016 or 2014, a whole year has passed. So many people think like that and that's because they don't, they're too much on the autopilot. The opposite is what some people like being in the now, which is kind of an abstract term that very few people actually know what it means. But that is not being an autopilot, actually noticing, being conscious. Instead of being unconscious about what happens, then you're conscious about a lot of things. Like while we talk, I can be conscious of my voice, I can be conscious of what happens in my body, if there's tension or if I'm sad, I can be conscious that there's a lump in my throat and tears pressing be behind my eyes. If I'm happy, I can notice I'm smiling, I can notice your smile instead of just the autopilot part of that would be, oh, there's a person in front of me and I don't really notice you. So, so 99% of the time we are on autopilot or so many things we do are through being having the ability to do things unconsciously. But we have to decide and practice to actually have conscious, be conscious about a lot of things during the day also because that's what that's experiencing. So it's extremely important to practice consciousness as an antidote to the many, many things we do unconsciously, like on autopilot. And it's, uh, it's a matter of uh, just start noticing. So, uh, of course, there's a whole r regime of things you can do and uh, uh, practice, but like for, for this interview, I can say that just right in this moment while somebody listens to it, just touch your, your thighs and notice how it feels like in your hands and in your thighs. Notice what, you, what taste is in your mouth right now. Take a breath and notice what's, what the smell in the room is. Notice what, what kind of um, sensation is in your chest. Maybe take a deep breath and feel the pressure of the air inside your lungs and breathe out and notice a little bit of relaxation that comes when you do that. You can uh, do this and you can hear the sound it makes and you can feel that it becomes a little warmer in both, uh, both hands. Take a deep breath again. And all this is very simple and some people won't even be able to while I, I have said this the last 30 seconds. Many people listening to this will have will get away from it and th thoughts will come into their mind so they won't notice even though it seems so simple. 
And that's actually just the senses I'm talking about here. So this was just for this moment, but actually each moment when you do the dishes, when you take a walk, when you take a shower, when you sit in your car, you can notice all these things instead of being unconscious of what is happening right here, right now. And right here, right now, there's, there's <coughs> sorry, very few things you can actually be aware of, you can be conscious of. It's the five senses, which is what's happening outside your body. Then it's the, the sens sensations from your body, what is happening inside your body. And the last thing you can be aware of is what thoughts are running through your mind, what life is about. So the primary reason to practice this is to actually have a more full, rich life compared to if you get to New Year's Eve and you say, oh, another year has gone by, it's gone so quick. If you practice this and do this every day, then you won't have that experience you'll get to new year's eve and say oh it's new year's eve again there's so many things i have happened last year 